my truck down this morning. The belt tensioner, pulley bearing was going out. It was squeaking the whole way from Apache Junction to Las Vegas. So I we were screaming. Yeah. It's like they put on a the whole assembly, not just the pulley, which they could have just done, but they went ahead and put a no whole assembly on. So now driving is good to go, no screaming. So everything's good again. <laughs> I was worried about breaking down out in the middle of the desert someplace, but hey, we made it here just fine. So now we're on our way to Arizona Charlie's for dinner. Yep, Arizona Charlie's. <laughs> That'd be our first buffet night that we did. And uh, maybe I'll show you what we eat. Mike. <laughs> He's just more lucky than me. I couldn't get this machine to pay, and he did. Yep. <laughs> We're just kind of hanging out before we go eat dinner. Town Casino. I think I think this is maybe our favorite casino. They got a show down here at nighttime. Animals and stuff. Oh, it's fake animals. It's a light show with fake animals. It's pretty cool. They got all kinds of eating places down there. All oh, these are your hotel rooms. Yeah. You hear the water? Can you hear the water rushing down there? The waterfall? It's pretty nice. The videotape it the first night. So we came back for seconds. Tonight's Mexican night. <laughs> it's pretty good. that they, they didn't want to take. So they asked if we wanted it and they were just throwing food away. So I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll take the, the pizza. But I didn't want to put it in the oven, so I'm trying something. See that? I'm cooking it right here. I need to maybe add some other extra toppings to that, but this is what just came out of the box. But yeah, I got, I put a little bit of oil down I put it on 350 and we'll see how it goes. Oh, I can hear it sizzling in there. Hear it? So, yeah, if you don't want to use your oven, you might as well just go ahead and give this a try. I think it's just about done, so I'll let you know later how it was. What do you think, Mike? It turned out really good. It's crunchy and everything, huh? Yeah. So yeah, okay, now we have a new way of cooking pizza. Pretty, uh, pretty bad accident. You see the car over there? It's upside down. Just right, just right down from where we're staying. Yeah, just right down by our place. Uh, I just hope that nobody was hurt bad in that. Yeah. We had to take Sophie and get her nails done. She looked pretty. And uh, different part of Vegas that we're in this time. And we found different <laughs> different places to shop at. And um, look, look, look what we found right down here by the Pet Smart. It's an in and out burger. We cannot believe how lucky we got. And the line doesn't look too bad, so uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of happy over this. We're going to get those hamburgers and the, the crunchy fries, and there's an olive garden across the street. We like, we like doing their lunch, too, so yeah, we'll see. Is it as good as the In-N-Out in Arizona? Yep. In fact, this is the best pre-made hamburger. hamburger that I have ever had. Show me your hamburger. It's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like an old-fashioned hamburger. It's not like some 
mass-produced McDonald's burger. This is like, this is like. What are they doing the meat? It's uh, fresh every day. Yeah, it's fresh meat. This ain't no frozen meat. It's fresh meat, and um, fresh vegetables, and the uh, French fries. You can get extra crispy, and they hand cut those French fries every day too. They're not frozen fries. So yeah, the food is amazing, but we don't we don't have an in and out burger at home. Nope. So so when we come down south, this is like our treat for us. Somebody got wore out today. Their park over there. Fun in the sun. <laughs> yeah, that looks like they could, that'd be a lot of fun to go to. That's in Henderson. Yeah, that's in Henderson. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really, really windy today, and yeah, dusty. Yeah, look at the mountains; they're so dusty. <clears throat> we had to roll up the windows because I was just, I was just breathing dirt. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like that. Uh, so we got our truck back, and we're going shopping. That's a long story, and we're going to sit down and tell you about the truck. But first, we're going to go shopping. <clears throat> Here's the latest on our transmission. So we get to Apache Junction in October and had the transmission rebuilt. And, you know, I went back four, maybe five times because, you know, I just didn't feel like it was shifting correctly, you know. But each and every time, you know, they, they insured me. Oh, it, it, you know, they took it for test drive, checked out. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's working just fine. Da, 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 da. So, well, okay. So time to head home. April 1st. So we head off and we stop for a couple of days to visit her sister in Baus, Arizona. And then left there, headed towards, cut to Las Vegas to where you know, we're staying for two weeks. And we get here and we go to the post office, I think the next day after we get here. And bam, the dang truck will not shift out of first gear. Unless you let off the gas, then it will shift into first, second gear. But only if you let off the gas. So right outside Thousand Trails on the right hand side there's a transmission place. So I went and talked to him and he said, yeah, he said, we'll, we'll check, drop the truck off. And this is on a Friday that we dropped the truck. Uh, I talked to him, dropped it off Tuesday morning and haven't heard anything most of the day on Monday and, and uh, I'm thinking, oh God, it's gonna, that cost us 3400 to have the transmission rebuilt and it's built to tow and uh, I got a V10 in it and it, it actually it, it towed pretty good in here. It, it used the the power and the torque of the engine really more than the, having the transmission slip into gear and, and how an automatic transmission slips more than it does. So this seems like it locks up and it uses more of the, of the engine than it does the slip of the transmission. Anyway, so finally get a call back from them. Ah, truck's all fixed. And uh, I'm going, well, what's the damage on it? He said, oh, a couple hundred bucks with tax. And I'm going, really? Well, the problem ended up being a speed sensor. <laughs> really? A speed sensor. And we paid for it, took it for a drive, and lo and behold, everything's just really nice. This, you know, it's, 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 I have no complaints on it. If they would have done this when they rebuilt the transmission, I would have had no complaints in the beginning. But I'm thinking, yeah, okay, right. You found uh, metal in the, in the transmission. Maybe. I, hopefully they didn't purposely rip us off. Hopefully they didn't rip us off. But I think their troubleshooting was a little lax. Because this place hooked up their computer and said they found it right away. It had a code and everything. The other place had no codes coming up. Anyway, so we're happy with it. Uh, we're going to be leaving here. Today's Thursday. We're leaving Sunday morning. Headed towards 
uh, Washington. We're going to go to East Washington and visit Patty's sister, two sisters and two brother-in-laws. So we'll get back with you and let you know how this transmission is actually working. It was working good other than the shifting. I thought it was off and now I know it was off. So we'll get back with you. Anything, Patty? We did a little bit of shopping, but that two weeks of shopping that I had planned, no. Couple, it, a few days. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> <We had> to, <laughs> I found some good stuff, the little bit of shopping I got to do. Yeah, we spent, you know, four days just here at the campsite because we were waiting on the truck. At least we have a swimming pool here. Yeah, we got a swimming pool here. It's in the 80s. Getting a little tan. <laughs> okay. So, that's it for now.